Typing Unicode Greek on a Mac is actually a fairly simple process to set up and to execute. First thing is open your system preferences and then go to keyboard. Down here at the bottom you'll see an option that says show keyboard and character viewers in menu bar. Make sure that that is checked. That, may, that enables you to see up on your um, menu bar a visual representation of what language you are in and it gives you some shortcuts that are very helpful. Second thing is go to input sources. You'll see on the left the particular languages that are enabled and then on the right a graphic for the particular keyboard. Go to the plus sign to add Greek. Scroll down until you see that. And then here on the right, click Greek Polytonic. You want to make sure that you have the Greek Polytonic keyboard enabled. That's the one that has the accents and the other diacritical marks that we use in typing Biblical Greek. Add that, and then you'll notice that the uh, keyboard has now been added to your input sources. The way to access this is to go up to the uh, menu bar, and you'll see I have a little American flag. You'll uh, see I can click on that, and then I have the option to change from the uh, American English to Greek polytonic keyboards as needed. Now I want to show you very quickly this keyboard viewer option. That's what we enabled in the keyboard preferences. When you open this, this displays a visual keyboard of, uh, for the particular language that is enabled at the moment. So notice that if I change to Greek polytonic, it will change to show me the particular characters that I have uh, uh, available to me. That is very, very helpful when you're learning how to type uh, Greek. Uh, so I want to encourage you to use that on a regular basis. Typing in Greek requires that you do two steps, basically. The first is change to the particular keyboard that you want to use, in this case Greek Polytonic, and then type the characters, noting that when you want to include a breathing mark or an accent, that you have to type that character first. For example, I'm going to type the word Logos, and you'll notice that as I type the L key, uh, the lambda is put, and then the next letter requires the accent. I can look at my keyboard map and see that the acute accent is on the same key as the semicolon. So I will now type the semicolon key, and notice what happens. The, uh, the program visually presents that to me to show that I've typed that, and that then and it will be added to the next character uh, if it accepts it. And now I can type the O key for the Omicron, and it will include that, and then I can finish typing the balance of the word. Um, the key thing to recognize is that you always have to type the accent first, then the character that the accent goes on. Um, if you remember that, it should be very easy to get into the habit of typing those. You'll also notice that at the, in the keyboard viewer, that if I press the Shift key, or the Option key, or the command key, I get other options that are available to me within that particular keyboard. So it's a simple matter of keeping your eye on the keyboard layout, using the particular um, uh, keys as necessary to change to uh, uppercase, lowercase, whatever the case may be, and then within a short amount of time you'll be typing Greek uh, like a pro.